watching out for you and tonight looking into why a judge let a man go after he was caught on camera punching a local coffee shop owner in the face. Yeah, that man had to be arrested once again today after he was a no show in court for the sixth time in two years. Our investigator Dan Tilkin joins us. He examines how and why he was allowed to dodge the system, Dan, so many times and released back on the public streets where he was a, a, a nuisance yeah. and a threat. We've been pulling on the threads here trying to figure out what happened, and we've been showing you this video here uh, caught on camera. That was Jordan Locke right there. He had just punched the owner of the coffee shop, the Lotus and Bean, which is downtown, and was on the run again after he didn't follow the judge's orders again, and yet another warrant was issued for his arrest, and he had to be found again today. So after throwing the punch Thursday in downtown Portland, police also say he assaulted three police officers. An employee tipped us off that Locke was released from jail the very next day. So our investigation and court record shows he's also been released five other times in the last two years when he was arrested in other assault and harassment cases, including assaulting police officers. We've now learned that Locke didn't follow judges' orders again and didn't meet Multnomah County pretrial services, which are the folks who are supposed to evaluate him and, and his risk to the community. Well, that triggered the new warrant and his new arrest this afternoon. So after his track record, we wanted to talk to the judge about why he didn't uh, follow the DA's request to keep Locke in jail. And the courts tell us the judge is unavailable for comment. So, Dan, we want to ask, is it typical for judges to explain themselves? Because we wanted to know, yeah. you know, why they made that decision. No, that's a, good, that's a good point. It is not typical. It's rare for a judge to actually come out and explain their decisions. They try to kind of stay above that all. Another thing we really should point out uh, is that Jordan Locke in the court records shows that he has mental health issues. Um, he says he, he drinks enough alcohol to make the voices stop. And he also mm. told the people at the jail that he speaks caveman which may sound silly, but I think goes to show what's happening. Oh, wow. There's a lot more to this story, and I know you're uncovering a lot, but there's still obviously much more to it, too. Yeah, and one other thing we should point out is, remember, this is COVID, so the jail is only keeping the most yes. serious violent offenders locked up. Does he fit into that? And that's the question. Yeah. yeah. And it raises this whole issue of mental health yes. and this right. whole Absolutely. system.